Baringo continues to encroach on what's left of the greenery in and around it. Conservationists and the Kenya Wildlife Services have the huge task of moving two Rothschilds giraffes from the Longicharo Island in the heart of the lake to the mainland. The translocation is aimed at moving the rare giraffes to safer grounds. Take a look. The beautiful Longicharo Island. Now a far cry from its former self after Lake Baringo continues to engulf the little land that is left. The situation is dire, with the lake encroaching on the island by an estimated six inches a day. Its inhabitants, the majestic Rothschild's giraffes, have been sitting ducks until today. Approval to translocate the giraffes to a purpose-built sanctuary was granted by KWS, seeing officers from the State Wildlife Agency and Ruko Community Conservancy swing into action. The mode of transport? This rectangular barge that is custom built out of steel and designed to float on a series of empty drums that provide buoyancy. And how do they keep the towering necks of the giraffes inside the barge? Well, these tall reinforced sides, the officers hope, will do the job during towing. We had to prepare um, uh, like a crash but it's made of plastic, a long crash, you know, to guide it so that, so that it doesn't fall into the water. Secondly, we had to prepare the landing sites for the boats, both at the um, capture site and the release site. We have to that with drugs and then we have to rope it and guide it to, to the boat. Over the last few months, the lake has increased by 88.6% in what conservationists have regarded as a most peculiar phenomenon that has been bad for business. Our tourism facilities are submerged, um, not all of them. We have got about eight facilities here. Uh, about three is affected, but uh, we still have some bed capacity. Out of the eight giraffes on the island, two are pregnant and will have to wait for some time before they are translocated to the mainland. And we are doing this because as much as the legs rise, we don't want to lose any, uh, any, any, any wildlife species. And as a ministry, our role is to ensure that we protect we secure the wildlife, and that is why we are doing this action. This exercise is critical, considering the challenges the giraffes have faced in breeding. Out of eight calves born, only two have survived the wilderness. The others are thought to have been lost to python predation, nutritional deficiencies, and other natural causes.